What's up, basketball fans? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Three Point Contest. Next to me, the guy that about to run suicide, Michael James. How you doing, Mike? I'm not gonna run suicide, so I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> Mike, thank you for rocking the t-shirt, man. I appreciate that. Shout out to Rocky Patilla for the t-shirts, man. If you want them, you can go cop them from him. DM uh, him. After Lebaran, eh? <laughs> but Mike, when did you start taking basketball seriously? Okay, so basically, pas okay kan gue pindah ke SPH my school uh -huh. when I was in seventh grade, right? And sebelum itu gue cuman mainnya futsal gitu kan, like any other Indonesian kid. Yeah. Terus ke pas masuk kelas 8 udah ikut tim basket sekolah, cuman buat iseng-iseng aja kan, mau coba-coba mm -hmm. aja. And then pas kelas 9, my dad told me that I should just switch sports because he saw that I was getting better at it. So that's what I did. I started taking basketball seriously and ya yeah, jadi kayak gitu. So si like that. Siapa yang mau inspirasi? Inspirasi lu siapa? Jadi uh. lu pengen main basket? Jujur aja sih, pas gue ke Amerika kan gue nonton NBA yeah. kan with my my family, cause all my all my family members in the states they all love playing ball. We're a, we're a basketball family gitu yeah. kan. So like my dad took me to an NBA game. It was the Clippers against the Warriors. Oh, that's my team. 2013 kalau nggak salah 2013. And when I saw Steph Curry play, I was like I was like wow. This was the time when before they even had Iguodala, okay? okay. So I'm not calling myself a bandwagon. Okay. <laughs> Um, habis itu, I asked my dad, hey, can I buy this t-shirt, uh, a Steph Curry jersey, right? And he was like, okay, I'll buy it for you if you switch sports. I said, okay. So that's how it, ah, that's so how pretty it. much it was a Steph Curry influencer and my dad. Okay, so got it. So, but if I'm not wrong, you're a big fan of Matthew Wright from the Philippines. Yes, I What am. do you like the most about his game? Um, I love that. Um, his ability to shoot the ball mm -hmm. and um, control the tempo because if from my, from what I see I've actually seen him play in real life pas Siaba 2017 final Indonesia lawan the Philippines right and the way he just shot the the, the basketball was really really like perfect uh, I, I love his shooting form man yeah, okay. yeah he has a perfect form yeah, he has like a he's like form. I feel like he's the Clay Thompson of Philippines yeah that's true and then who else do you like in the PBA I know you got a couple of Favorite players I actually in the like PBA. a lot of people. I actually yeah. watch the PBA. Mm -hmm. So some people that I like is uh, Marshall Lasseter. Oh, that's my guy. Marshall mm -hmm. Lasseter, I love him, man. Um, I like Gabe Norwood. Okay. Uh, Stanley Pringle, Terrence Romeo, Jason Castro. A that's lot of guys. It's all guards, man. All guards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a guard. So. Oh, that's true. <laughs> But you're about to finish high school now. Yes, I am. Who was the biggest competition for you? I mean, talking about player, right? Yeah. Uh, in high school. Yeah. When you play high school in Indo, playing high school, so yeah. like as yeah. in school. Yeah, in school. No, uh, not in not in oh, your just school. The whole Indonesia. Okay, oh, siapa pemain yang paling jago lah menurut lo selain lo? Uh, yang paling lo kalau lo ngelawan dia tuh kayak seru deh. Siapa ya? Um, Ananta Dandi would be one of them actually. Okay. Shout out to you, Dan. <laughs> so you play against Dandi before in like a real competition? I have played against him a lot of times, even before he got into Victoria. Okay. Now you are planning to move to Impact. Basketball Academy in Las Vegas. Yes. What was the biggest reason for that move? Okay, so basically, um, my dad. Well, for me, mm -hmm. I'm I'm a type of student who has to be active when it comes to sports, right? Okay. And for me, I I don't want to go to college without playing any sports, and I really want to go to college in the states. So my okay. dad, my dad suggested that I should move to the states for one year, not going to college, but. He told me possibly redo t my 12th grade year, right? Uh -huh. And I said um, I didn't want to do that at first. But then I re after he started after we started talking to each other, he was like, "Okay, you should just move, um, repeat your 12th grade year in the states." And so that's what we did. And because of that, um, I and I will be moving to Impact Basketball Academy in Enterprise Nevada next year, uh, next school year. So are you gonna repeat your yes, I will 12th grade. Yeah. Just, just for the sole purpose of being able to play um, basketball in the states, because my, one of my dreams is to play High college school? basketball, college basketball okay. in the states, right? I don't really mind when it comes to what division it is, division two, division three, as long as I get to play and if I get um, into a decent enough school. So that's one of my dreams. But next year, still a high schooler. Yeah. Jadi lu nggak naik kelas? Nggak, bukan nggak naik kelas, tapi kayak repeat gitu, you know what I'm saying? Not naik kelas. I, I graduated. I'm graduating. Nggak naik kelas dia, nggak naik kelas. <laughs> Balik lagi ke SMA ketiga <laughs> lagi kelas 12 12 lagi. So Mike, so now let's do the fun part. Ten shots, you know the drill. Yeah. Loser has to run. Suicide. You mean uh, you talking about the loser? So you, right? <laughs> I'm two and eight. Two and eight. I'm two and eight. I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm two and eight. Uh, Who did you beat? <laughs> oh, you'll be surprised. Chris Eversley and Jaron Crum. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you'll be surprised that who I beat, okay. but. 
I guess they were having an off day then. M maybe. <laughs> uh, so the record is being held by Gavin, eight three-point shots. So let's see if we, if you could break his record. So which spot do you want to shoot from? Uh, I'm gonna take the middle. That ain't your spot. I remember I watched one of your videos. <laughs> what are you talking about? I I be Chris Everly from the top. Chris Everly lost from the top. So you be ready. Okay, you're right. that's my spot though. All right, so let's go. Swoop. Somebody gotta run, man, for this. 50%. Okay, guys, wait, wait. So it's 50%, right? But two of his shots were on target, so I'm gonna say that was 30%. Oh, man, it's. <laughs> sure, it's not. Sure, it's not. You wait, no sure. <laughs> section because I gotta get a revenge man. Alright and also write in the comment section below who's gonna win. Okay? Yeah. We'll take a vote. <laughs> it's gonna be me. But <laughs> alright guys uh, don't forget to like and don't forget to comment our questions and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next video. Peace.